Okay, we have two Asian women here who might get wet. Um, I think my husband has this video. Um, I'm gonna read poems to you. They're not funny. You should not mind that they're not funny because my three cousins are here and one is an attorney and one is a competitive kickboxer and the Samoan looking one wearing the purse is just unreasonably violent. <laughs> So I'm going to read from my book. This book is called Ignatz, and it's based on Crazy Cat, which is a comic strip that a lot of you will know. Basically, there's this cat who is named Crazy, who loves this mouse named Ignatz, and Ignatz doesn't like Crazy, and Ignatz likes to hit Crazy in the head with a brick. And since Crazy is crazy, uh, Crazy thinks that the brick is a token of love, and it just keeps going on, um, as do these poems. <laughs> Ignat's Oasis. When you have left me, the sky drains of color like the skin of a tightening fist. The sun commences its gold prowl, batting at tinsel streamers on the electric fan. Crouching, I hide in the coolness I stole from the brass rods of your bed. Let's try this one. <laughs> Semper Ignat's. How could it have been other than abrupt? When, as ever in medias, Ignatz remarked, sometimes I don't like fucking. Whoosh, a billow of white cambric sheets the scene through which her nipples glow dully, taillights in snow. Ignatz Domesticus. Then one day she noticed the forest had begun to bleed into her waking life. There were curved metal plates on the trees to see around corners. She thought to brush her hand against his thigh. She thought to trace the seam of his jeans with her thumbnail. The supersaturated blues were beginning to pixelate around the edges to become a kind of grammar. She placed a saucer of water under her lamp and counted mosquitoes as they drowned. Soot amassed in drifts in the corners of the room. She pressed her thumb into the hollow of his throat for a while and then let him go. Longer one. X as a function of distance from Ignatz. She opens the door. He is 12 inches away. Her fingers still splayed across the battened down brass latch of his sternum. She closes the door. He is eight feet away. Her palm skids down the banister, clings to the fluted globe of the finial. He is 28 feet away. She opens the door. The black air is fast flowing and cold. She closes the door. She clutches her thin intimacy tight under her chin and trips down the steps. He is 40 feet away. The stiff wind palpably stripping his scent from her hair. From the numb fingers she raises to her mouth. A cab pulls up. She opens the door. She bends the body, hitherto upright. She closes the door. The cracked brown vinyl biting the backs of her thighs. He is 90 feet away. Red blotches suffusing her cheeks. I'm sorry, please stop, she says. He is 400 feet away. Please stop the cab. She opens the door. The cab stops. She pushes a 20 through the slot. He is 700 feet away. She closes the door. The husk of something dry and light falls to the sidewalk, crumbles away. She opens the door. He is two feet away. She closes the door. Ignat's pursuer. Her nostrils straining to the limits of their stretch and her lips glued shut and her fingers clamped over her mouth for good measure. She is running, running from Ignat's. And the night like a drumskin and her heart like someone locked in the trunk of a car. And if there were only time, God, she would spit it out into her palm. She would pry out the mortar between two bricks and wedge it in there. She would bury it under the succulents in the municipal planter. She would catch a piebald pigeon and tie it to its foot. But there is no time and she cannot bring herself to swallow it. And he is coming up behind her, taking lampposts in his stride. 
the death of Ignatz. Fallow lies Ignatz, his salt hands helpless, wicking moisture from the air. The death of Ignatz. The mesas sink to their knees and let the snickering dunes crawl over them. The death of Ignatz. Scratched in the plexi of the defunct jukebox. God, I was such a simple song. The death of Ignaz. The architect leapt from the bright bell tower and the sea slunk back to her cage. And I'll end with a pop quiz. Question one. A tetherball is swinging in a horizontal circle around a pole attached with a two meter long massless rope. Question two. <laughs> Tell me when you can feel this. Thank you.